everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. And I'm obsessed with my color glue book. Obsessed, okay? I spent, I don't even know how many hours yesterday playing in this glue book and I love it so much. So let's just do a quick little flip of what I've got going on right now. So that was what I have for red. Orange is really hard for me. I'm finding it really hard to find images with orange in it, but I will get there. I have this yellow page. I love how it turned out. Oh, and I have this chair that I wanna put here, but I have some more yellow I need to put down first, which we will do here in a minute. And then I have green. And aqua. Aqua's a hard one too. I thought it would be easier, but it's not. My blue, I have more stuff to put on here as well. More blue, blue. Blue's very easy. <laughs> Blue's easy. Um, and then I have purple, so I'm starting on that. I love how this purple page turned out. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. Love it. Okay, I've had this girl forever, so it felt so good to put her in a glue book. Then I have this. There's some stuff down here, which normally I would cut off, but I'm just going to cover that with some purple things. And then we're on to pink. Don't have a lot for pink yet, but I'm getting there. Black. Didn't this page turn out pretty cool? I love it. I've had this Nike shoe for a long time. Or it's not a Nike shoe. She's wearing Nike socks with heels. So I thought that was cute. And then I have, oops, I must spend some glue there. Some black going here. Um, I need to add some more black and white photos. And then my rainbow you saw. And then I have this rainbow. And I haven't been putting a lot of words in here, but this said, keep it simple, create with color. So I thought that was cool. So I need to finish with my rainbow stuff. And yeah, that's it. So may not seem like too much, but you guys, I was like in here for like seven and a half hours <laughs> gluing and cutting and ripping and gluing and over and over again. Okay, so let's go back to that yellow page and let's keep adding some yellow to this. And I have some here. I was just going through some Im um some magazines and I pulled out a bunch of pages last night and I just went through and ripped them all up so that I could put them in the glue book. So we'll just put all these yellow pieces down. You guys, I'm having so much fun with this. Like so much fun. I love it. It is just so relaxing and the paper feels good because it's not rigid it's flexible i just really love creating in a composition notebook i mean i love my michael's artist loft sketchbook for big random but for me like i don't know there's just something more freeing about it being kind of a inexpensive book you know you don't worry as much about this that and the other wrinkles or whatever so I just really like it I don't like it a lot um let's go this way all right I'm just really enjoying like What's the word? I need to look it up. I'm going to look it up and then I'll post it. But the word for liking paper, like I just love paper, you know, the feel of it, the sound of it, the texture. I don't know. It's so satisfying. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. 
What do I want? I'm just going to... It's a background. It doesn't matter, right? Okay. Put this piece here. I'm going to actually rip this a little bit because I have a couple little spots here I need to add a little bit. There's that piece. I'm gonna rip this in half. So many of you have expressed wanting to start a color glue book too, so I'm really excited to see what you guys create. It's so fun. I'm gonna probably end up finishing this one before you know it, so I'll have to think of another another um, project, another glue book. Okay, so I also have this girl too that I just cut out that I could put right here for yellow. Maybe I'll use her. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll use her on this side and I'll use the chair on the other. That's what I'll do. I just feel like using her right now. It's so fun to find things in the color that you need too. It's like the thrill of the hunt, you know? Got a little glob of glue. Look at that. Let's make sure she's nice, nice and smooth. Oh, she's on there like butter. Nice and smooth. So, somebody mentioned yesterday that my pages look wrinkly because of the air between these things. And I actually like that. I mean, my images are on here very smooth. So yes, there is some wrinkles because of the air between, but once you start adding um, stuff on both sides, the pages do become a little bit more rigid, but my pages are on there nice and smooth. So I don't mind those little bumps from the air in between the two pages. It actually feels really good and it sounds crinkly and I just like it. So I'm okay with that. I know I'm weird about wrinkles. What happened to all my scissors? Oh. Well, there they are. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm weird about wrinkles in my my art, but when it's art like this, it doesn't bother me. And I think that's why I like this so much because it's very freeing for my my mind, my anxiety, my OCD, if you will. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't bother me like it does uh, my other books. And I like that, it's very freeing. And it's okay if you don't like wrinkles in your books. Um, I don't either usually. So to each their own, everybody can do what they like to do, what makes them feel comfortable, what makes them like their art, you know what I mean? No judges. Okay, so I have other little scraps of color here. So let's go to, I have some green sitting here. So let's start adding some green. We'll start on this page. And these are all just, they were images that had, or paper, magazine images where there was, you know, advertisements or things on the other side. And I just cut out the colors because all I wanted was the color, obviously. Okay, there we go. You know what'd be cool is if you had one glue stick, I should patent this, I just thought of that. <laughs> if you had a glue stick, right, and the glue stick you bought 
the glue stick would be kind of expensive because you can reuse it. So say it had just this part, right? And you have to put new glue in the insert. So this you would always keep, you would always get new glue to put in, but then the bottom had like a button that you could push and it would push the glue out a little bit so you didn't have to stop and twist it constantly. So when I'm holding it, I could just go boop like that and it would start to come out. <laughs> That's what I want. How dare you make me stop my creativity to scroll up my glue. <laughs> How lazy can we be? Very. You're stopping my creative process. Sherman's mad at me now because I just woke him up. He turned away from me so he can't even look at me right now. <laughs> what a diva. Are you a diva, Shermie? Okay. love having my window open and seeing everybody. There's people who walk every single day. There's actually several of them uh, that walk every day and I, I enjoy seeing them even though they don't know that I see them. That's creepy. I'm kind of like a stalker <laughs> in a way. Oh, there's one of them right there. Hi lady. You don't know me, but I see you every day. <laughs> I feel like how creepy, right? If you walk in the neighborhood every day. I guarantee you there's somebody who sees you every day. What's really funny is when people look up and realize that I'm here and they see me. <laughs> it's so funny. They're like, uh, oh, <laughs> some smile, some look away really fast. <laughs> like there's this one lady. I don't know why she drives me nuts, but she does. She seems like a Karen to me. And that's rude. I know because I'm judging and I don't even know her. But I feel like she's so nosy. Like, she's always looking, like, at my door. And, like, when she walks by, like, she just takes that extra, extra time. Anyways, she just takes that extra time to just sit there and, like, stare at my house as she's walking by. And I'm like, can I help you? <laughs> nosy McGee. I mean, we're all nosy. You know how when like you're walking by or you're driving by a house when it's dark out and they have their blinds open and their lights on in their house, so you can like see into their house and see everything. <laughs> you know, we all look. So I can't blame them for looking. Although at night I do close my blinds because I don't like, I hate it when people look at me. It's weird. <laughs> I just don't like it. Don't look in my house. Okay that down okay is this a green oh this is a green I'll put this down here I could put it over here too just kind of break this up maybe I'll do that I'll put it on the other side break up some of that interest right along the avocados okay so I also have blue which obviously I'm gonna finish first because it's very easy. Ooh, I have this too, I wanted to put on here. I think I'm just gonna put it, well, maybe I should save. Oh, I could just put this right across here. It fits. If it fits, it sticks. Okay, you know what, I'm doing it. I'm just holding it there for 10 minutes for no apparent reason. I always say, if I have to think about it and I hold it there for a minute, then it's good enough. I'll like it later. If I have to think about it that long, it just needs to go there. If I put it down and I'm like, nope, then I don't do it. Okay, there we go. Smooth it down. I like to take my nail and just kind of lightly get it in that crease there. I have a little glue bubble right here, which you just take my bone folder very gently and press that glue out. Okay. Now I have 
I guess I should put that down first. Oh well. There we go. Oops. Split that over. Ah! Papers everywhere. I have a lot of blue stuff. A lot. Okay, let's put this one down here. Like this. But some has texture. I don't know if you can see that. It has like, there you go. It has like the texture on it. I love that. The two-tone blues. That's what I'm talking about. I wanted to go to, hold on, I want to see if there was pink. Did I finish anything in pink? Okay, because I found this that I wanted to put on here. But I think I'll wait and maybe put it over this or something. So yeah, I'm cutting out words too. If I find um, words like this one says sleep like a bear, I could put that there. And I have this purple, so I'm just going to stick it over this right here because I don't really want the Febreze. So, eh. Okay. Smooth it down so there's no bubbles. Mainly smoothing it down, one, so there's no bubbles, but two, because uh, I want to make sure it sticks. Then I had some words down here, so I'm just gonna put this across here. Okay, and then do I wanna put, maybe I'll just put it like this and that'll break that up. Love it. Okay. Perfect. All right. So what else did I have? I had some more yellow. Oh, I had, what's this? I have a little pillow that I could just add for more color. And then I had bold, which we saw. Oh, I have this pink, that's right, okay. I still have this huge pile right here from yesterday, um, but it's not nearly as big as it was. I have really, really knocked that pile down. Oh, this is upside down. Yeah, I don't really want that there. Okay, going back, green, where was my green? Here we go. I have this green M&Ms. I could put, I think right here, I could put it this way and that would cover most of that. I'm just gonna put it right there. I don't know why, I just feel the need and who cares, right? It's green, it goes. I'm just gonna put it at an angle cause that's just not like me. So I'm gonna do it there. Green, okay, and then, oh yeah, I have the little M&Ms, guys. So I wanna put them down. So I thought I could like, have him point, Whoa, well, don't want him pointing at her vagina. Jeez, that's creepy. Um, ooh, that's weird, his finger goes like right over hers. That's weird. Okay, I don't know if I wanna put him with her cause that's just weirding me out. Um, okay, I have the red M&M guy. Let's go to red. What do I have going over here? Oh, he only has one leg now too. <laughs> he looks so irritated. This is like permanent mom's like stance, isn't it? Like, <sighs> just clean your room. <laughs> Seriously, you have dishes in the sink again? Put the toilet seat down. Okay. There, now I have little Mr. M&M guy. Oops, there we go. Let's 
smush him down so he doesn't try and run away. Although he only has one leg, so he's not gonna make it too far. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I got other stuff. All right, um, orange, and I don't have much on here. I only have this one page, so I might have to wait to put him down. So I'll wait for him, and then I have, oh, I had some red high heels that I cut out. Look at this, I got paper just glued to my finger. I could put some nice high heels in here. Oh, it'll almost be like try and find the item because everything's red. All right. Can I glue this without ripping off a heel? Okay, let's see. I did it. Let's just put these heels right on these little roses. Ah, okay, how do I? There we go, stay down, there we go. I did it. No heels were harmed in the gluing of that. Okay, what else do I have? I have, what's this? Oh, I have, I do have some more orange things. I have some soup and a heart, which is actually soup as well. And then I have three blue things that I found while cutting out all the blue. I have some hauls, M&Ms, and dentine ice. So, I can add these somewhere too. No, I'll just put the hauls right here. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, baby. Love it when a plan comes together. Oops, got a wrinkle. Oh, but look how quickly I got that wrinkle out. Ah, oh, love it. I have a little glue goober in here, I think. Nope. Thought I did. Okay, there we have hauls. I love this shark right here, so I don't want to cover that up. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, randomly put, <laughs> I just, I don't know what to do. Oh, maybe I'll put them down here. I don't really want to cover that. I really like it. it kind of reminds me of the water. Maybe I'll put more fish down there or something. I don't know. Okay, let's just put some blue things on here. We'll just put it there because that's where it landed. Okay. Wow, it's coming together. What else did I have? I do have more blue to put down. Oh, I have some black I can put down too. Okay. I'm actually gonna save this black because I want, I have all this blue sitting here, so I wanna add this blue. Break out some baby wipes here in a second. I'm getting sticky, sticky, nicky. Man, I am just so excited to see what you guys do with your color glue books. It'll be so fun. You'll have to tag me on like Instagram or something um, so I can see what you're doing. I'm not real good about going on Instagram, I'll be the first to admit. Um, sometimes you'll see me a lot on there and then other times you won't see me for like a week. <laughs> I'm just not consistent. Um, but I love Instagram. So yeah, if you do something, I also have, okay. Um, so I haven't said anything, but I do have a Facebook page for relax cut glue now. So you just type in relax cut glue on Facebook and I have a page. And the reason why I didn't do a group is because, oh my gosh, there's just so many things to do on there. And like, I just, it's too much work for me to have a group. Um, so I did a page. The only downside is 
Um, you don't just see what everybody posts. You have to go to the community part, like at the top, you know, where it says like photos, videos, blah, blah, blah. You go to community and that's where you post what you want to post. Um, so everybody can see it, but you just have to go to the community part of the page to see it. Does that make sense? Versus a group, when you go on the group, you just da 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 see what everybody's posting. On a page, you have to go to the community tab of the page, and then you see. So f please feel free to put all your pictures of things that you've done on there um, and share them with us. Um, and maybe eventually I will do a group, but my whole point to doing this was I wanna see, like so many of you send me pictures of what you've done. Um, some of you tag me on, on Instagram, which is awesome because I can see it there too. So if you don't do Instagram, which some of you have mentioned you don't, um, please feel free to go to my YouTube page, Relax Cut Glue, and post your photos there. And don't be offended if you don't see me like replying right away because like I said, I'm I'm not that great at that. I try really hard. So just have patience with me and um, I will for sure check it out. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what everybody does. It's fun. Because we're all just different. And even when they're kind of the same, they're still different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. fun when we're all having fun together, I guess is my point. Um, eh. Okay, I have this little scrap. Some of these little scraps I was just going to throw away and I'm like, wait, why am I throwing these away? I could put these in my book. So I am. These will just be backgrounds and it fills the page with bright color. I think that's all for my blue. Oh, and then I have this and it says, hello, yellow. So do I put it on my yellow page or do I put it on my blue page? Cause it's blue. At first I was just going to put it on my yellow page cause it says hello, yellow, but it's blue. So I think that's kind of funny that it says hello, yellow, but it's blue. So I could put it on my blue page, right? Like how funny is that? Cause it's not yellow. I'm going to put it on my blue page. Hello, yellow. That's funny. Maybe I'll just stick it right there. You know what? I love how I ask you what you would do and then I just change my mind and do whatever I want. So me. Okay. Hello, yellow. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to end this here. All right, guys. So don't forget that I have a Facebook page called Relax Cut Glue that you can put your images in under the community tab and tag me in those tag me on instagram if you have anything you want me to see or if you're doing a color glue book as well and i'm just really excited to see what you guys are doing because a lot of you have mentioned that you're doing this as well so i hope you guys have a fabulous day it's almost the weekend so today's a great day to have a great day and i plan on having just that so i will see you guys in the next video bye